he catch that fish yet? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. It's a happy ending. Not exactly. The old man met his greatest adversary just when he thought that part of his life was over. Why didn't he just let the fish go? Old man's got to be the old man. Fish has got to be the fish. Hey, yo. What's up? So, this is kind of different because we watched a movie that's already been released. In preparation for a movie that hasn't been released to anyone but the critics, <coughs> somebody should have got me a critic pass so I could see this movie early. I'm looking at you, Black Test. Mm -hmm. Looking at you. So, the movie we watched, The Equalizer, I haven't seen this movie, so. So, what was this movie about for people so, that haven't seen it? It's about Denzel Washington. <laughs> he plays a, uh, I assume he's an ex-Special Forces. He's probably ex-CIA, actually. Yeah, um, he, uh, he meets this girl, and, uh, she gets kidnapped, or rather, she gets beaten, because she's a prostitute for these, Russian basically, a Russian, yeah, Russian drug lord. Slash <laughs> general crime syndicate, like they're into everything basically. Yeah, and uh, when he finds out that she got beaten by one of those Russian monsters, he confronts them and it ends in a very... <laughs> he, he goes to equalize the situation. In yeah. case you guys haven't guessed, we're talking about the first Equalizer movie. Yeah, it was a bloody outcome and then it just starts a like cascade of um, like, all these crime syndicates are worried that their business is, <laughs> are going to fail because Denzel Washington just messed it all up. The domino effect that you're using yeah. Cold War terminology. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so basically the, the movie is about him trying to get justice for the downtrodden and poor. Because you see uh, other scenes where Denzel's character is righting wrongs. Like there was one scene where these corrupt cops take money from this Mexican restaurant. And they're on the payroll of the Russian mob in this. Yeah. This too, so. Yeah, and Denzel just... <laughs> he re-extorts the money from the crooked cops and then gives it back to the business owner. Yeah, so he's kind of like a vigilante. <laughs> Robin Hood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he plays this guy who presumably goes by the name of Robert McCall, and as he said, he's probably ex-Special Forces, ex-CIA, that kind of dude, but we don't really know much about him. Yeah, and in fact, we almost never get the full backstory. <laughs> uh, this movie was uh, stars Denzel Washington, uh, Chloe, Chloe, yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz, and... Um, it was directed by Anton Fuqua, and it was based on a TV show that happened around the 80s. Um, personally, I think the movie's a lot better, <laughs> but that's just me. Anyway, um, I really like the way this film was edited. Um, there's great action, cinematography, and editing in here. Um, what did you think of the movie overall? Uh, overall, I liked it a lot. Um, I even felt this much of like an adrenaline rush in a movie since uh Jet Li's the one. <laughs> oh yeah okay <laughs> yeah well it's kind of weird because the, the editing and the cinematography reminded me of that film in a weird way yeah uh, yeah and like there was one scene with the the water coming down um it reminded me of that scene from the one where Jet Li's fighting himself and then all, there's all these sparks flying down yeah. <laughs> and it's this construction looking play. I mean that's that's just me though. Cause, cause <laughs> like uh, Denzel's character works in a place that's very much like, like Home Depot. Yeah, like Home Depot. In fact the aisle names are actually similar down to the font yeah. and the Spanish uh <laughs> translation. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I was taking note of that. <laughs> Dude, and like, I noticed in quite a few movies, Denzel Washington has some lines in Spanish. Yeah. And he doesn't do half bad. <laughs> he speaks a little bit of Russian in this mode. Yeah, yeah, Denzel Washington's cool. So he plays interesting action heroes. And the weird thing is, he did this movie when he was 60, huh? 
Yeah, um, this dude doesn't seem to age, and dude, it he's seems like, he's, he's kind like, of fit, too. He's like timeless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta up my game. Like, the way he moves and stuff is like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... so mm. This was one of my favorite movies. This one had no idea about it. Yeah, That's but cool. now it's one of my favorites. And the soundtrack is amazing. Harry Grace Williams, No Gear Solid and all that. That's like, what I'm saying. And the way they edited the scenes to go with the music. <laughs> it doesn't feel out of sync. Exactly. Yeah. That's something I did catch on when you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the funny yeah. thing is, like, most of the action sequences in this film, when they have music pronounced in the background, they they make each cut to each different shot in the scene on the fourth measure of every beat, which is something a lot of editors miss out on. So whoever they had as chief editor on this thing fucking killed it. Like, yeah. just killed it. <laughs> I couldn't stop looking at the movie. I watched it back to back. Like, one day I watched it and then he came over and I watched it again just now. <laughs> and I, I wasn't bored. Yeah. I, I probably have the ADDs and I wasn't bored, so. Yeah, there's a lot of blood and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, the gore was almost on the level of that Australian indie film upgrade that we did a review yeah. on. If you guys want to check it out, I'll probably <laughs> put it in the YouTube card somewhere. But yeah, dude, like it was gory, it was well shot, well executed. <laughs> and the thing is, for people who say, you know, the plot's not deep enough, dude, it's an action movie. Yeah. It's an action movie. <laughs> it's not supposed to be an art film, it's not a character driven drama. It is an action movie. Yep. You need to be okay with that. Take movies for what they're supposed to do. If, if they fulfill all the requirements of the genre, and they do some things creative along the way, then chances are it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah. and... <laughs> if it barely fulfills the requirements of the genre, or it tries to do too much, that's how you get scattered film. This film is not at all scattered. Yeah, it was focused, much like the Washington character. <laughs> yeah. And he was reading, like, he was reading books from, uh, the hundred books yeah. you have to read before you die or something like that. And yeah. I've run across that list several times, and I was like, this dude's reading Old Man in the Sea. Which, by the way, I don't like Old Man in the Sea. Yeah. I, I, I haven't tried reading it yet. I don't like that author. Everybody thinks he's amazing, but he's really over the best. Yeah, but, uh, it was a focused film. It was very, uh... Just a well timed, now that I think about it, like the whole thing was well timed. Like everything about that film just seemed to coalesce for me, like. Yeah, then the lot of his character just looks at his watch and times himself. And that's the thing, he kind of has this OCD thing about him, like he arranges things in a certain way throughout the film, like whether it's at his apartment, whether it's on the table at the restaurant he frequents, or even like. In his film time, he times almost everything. Yeah. And everything has to be done in a specific way. And he has really cool adrenaline vision reminiscent of bullet time. Yeah. But they don't take it in the bullet time direction, which makes it different. It just, it's, it kind of reminds me of uh, some things that would happen in like some video games, like The Mark of Cree or uh, maybe in the Jason Bourne movies. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um,. I like it a lot. I, I would rewatch it. <laughs> looking forward to the second film now? Yeah, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> would you recommend that people find this movie? Uh, I would highly recommend it. Find some way, like whether it's in a DVD bin or. That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, like, you gotta watch it. I'm not agree with that. Could not agree with that. Yeah. Um, if you have not seen The Equalizer, go see the second film. Find the first movie, see that, because they're. I don't even care if the second one is as good as the first. I just want more of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that's how. Yep. That's where I'm at with this movie. So if you have a problem, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. But uh, that's us for now. <laughs>